you tuned into Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's recent documentary on Netflix, Harry and Meghan, then this estate we're about to show you might look familiar. Or at least the epic and open air living room that served as a backdrop for most of their confessionals. If you didn't already guess, this mansion isn't the couple's actual home, despite being located nearby in the same area of Montecito, California. This grand Mediterranean Spanish revival home where they filmed the show was actually put up for sale recently at $33.5 million, boasting over 13,000 square feet of space and amazing views of the ocean. The Duke and Duchess his real $14.65 million home is situated in the same Santa Barbara area. However, they've chosen to keep this one a bit more under wraps. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. In the new Netflix docu-series Harry and Meghan, the royal couple sits down for some interviews set in a stunning luxury house. Now, if you thought this was Prince Harry and Meghan's actual family home, then you'd be wrong because they used a mansion located less than a 10 minute drive from where they live with their kids. The spacious home that was witnessed in the highly criticized Six Part documentary show is a similar opulent estate which is currently on the market for $33.5 million. This home is also in the same stunning area where the Duke and Duchess live of Montecito, California. In fact, only 3.5 miles from them. And it's even more epic than what we see on the documentary. The Mediterranean Spanish Revival style estate is situated on over two acres of land beneath the mountains with amazing views of the oceans, as well as tall palm trees and winding walkways. The mansion's exterior is covered in jungle-like vines and inside, there's a total of almost 13,600 square feet of space, with 800 of those square feet located in the one bed, one bath guest house on top of the garage. The main house offers six bedrooms, six baths, as well as multiple living areas fit for royalty. It's obvious why Harry and Meghan chose this abode for their show. It's also obvious why this mansion utilizes an indoor-outdoor theme throughout its spaces when you consider the amazing views, California weather, and landscaped grounds. There are grand arched doors and windows in almost every space, which not only bring in a ton of natural light, but also provide easy access to the terraces outside. The formal living room has three French doors that open the room out to a column supported covered walkway that runs the full width of the home. Those who watched the docu-series likely recognize the heart of the home or this great room where Harry and Meghan filmed most of it. This sun-filled space boasts a sparkling chandelier, modern furnishings, beamed ceilings, and an open plan layout. Close to here you'll find the glam dining room with silver leaf ceiling and an elegant library is full of wood paneling, a fireplace, and even a secret door to the master suite. Given this, the master bedroom is actually located on the main level, offering its own sitting area, fireplace, and a private outdoor terrace. The rest of the bedrooms are spread out on the upper level of the home, giving the primary suite its very own privacy. Some other highlights inside the stunning mansion include a massive chef-grade kitchen, which opens up to a cozy den. There's a home theater with a fireplace and wet bar, two games rooms, one for the children and one for the adults, a meditation lounge, and a gym. Not only do terraces branch off from nearly every room in the house, there's a dining table on one of the terraces to take your meals al fresco, along with an outdoor lounge, a fireplace, and heaters for those cooler nights in Montecito. The sprawling infinity pool spans almost the length of the house and sits on its own deck with an attached patio space. There's also a hot tub, gazebo, and pebbled walkways and stone walls, all of which are surrounded by landscaping and sculptures. There's some Something for everyone at this estate, as even those who like to be more off the grid can enjoy a generator, a solar power, gray water irrigation system, private well, and other eco-friendly additions. Not to mention, there are vegetable beds, citrus and banana trees, and even chicken coops. The compound is great for people who like to entertain as well, given the ample indoor and outdoor space for reportedly up to 200 guests. So while this might not be Prince Harry and Meghan's real house, it sounds like it's comparable. Now, let's check out where they actually live. In the summer of 2020, the Duke and Duchess, who had been looking to settle down in California, finally found the home of their dreams when they decided to buy a $14.65 million estate in the heart of Montecito. 
the Santa Barbara County enclave located on the water. While more recently there have been some rumors that Prince Harry and Meghan are shopping around for a new home in the exclusive Santa Barbara area of Hope Ranch, for now they are still at the abode that they purchased a couple of years ago. Records show the large property quietly sold in mid-June 2020 to a mysterious trust, but that was only to keep things private, and they secured a $9.5 million mortgage to grab the 7.8 acre compound. Harry and Meghan's home is tucked away on a private gated street, giving them the privacy they crave, next to other equally grand estates. Inside the home spans a whopping 18,671 square feet, with 9 beds and 16 baths. More recently, Meghan revealed that they fell in love with the peaceful property right away. She said, We did everything we could to get this house because you walk in and go joy and exhale and calm. It's healing. You feel free. Built in 2003, the Mediterranean style main abode is decked out in beige and off white decor with rooms like a library, games room, and formal living and dining rooms. Of course, there are also places perfect for the young family to relax together, like the Eden Chef's Kitchen or the Regal Entertainment Space with wood paneled walls and a huge TV. The mansion is jam packed with the best amenities throughout, such as a gym, separate wet and dry saunas, an arcade, a home movie theater, and of course, an elevator. Since moving in, Prince Harry and Meghan have added their own touches throughout the home, including a grand piano that their friend Tyler Perry gave them as a housewarming present, and Soho House rose water candles in each and every room. A source close to the couple explained, this is the first home either of them have ever owned. They intend to put down their roots in this house and the quiet community, which has considerable privacy. And it seems since that statement was made, the Duke and Duchess most definitely have done just that. Prince Harry and Meghan can also enjoy the country style master suite with wood beam ceilings, ensuite marble bathroom, and access to a private balcony with ivy covered pergola. A 3D floor plan of what their master would be laid out like was recently revealed, and these digitally rendered interiors showed a suite with four separate areas. There was the bedroom itself, the ensuite, a terrace, and a dressing room. The dressing room also offers a sitting area with two chairs next to the window, while the other side is for storage. Meghan also has given fans a look at her home office on her 40th birthday, which boasts a rustic wooden desk, cream chairs, and a traditional fireplace behind her. To round out the office, the rest of the things that she has here followed matching muted and neutral tones for a very organized look. Aside from the main structure, there's also a detached guest house with two beds and two baths. Outside, other highlights are straight from a fairy tale, such as rose gardens, an olive grove, and even a tea house. The property is ideal for their two children to stay entertained, as there's a kid's cottage and even an epic playground that sits within the grounds of the home. For when the adults want to entertain or have their own fun, there's also a lap lane swimming pool and a full-size tennis court out back. The pool is also surrounded by sun loungers and umbrellas, making it perfect to relax or entertain. Just a stone's throw from the ocean, the easygoing neighborhood their home is located is, is the perfect spot for the private family to get some peace. While it's somewhat close to LA, Santa Barbara is relatively secluded, and the more upscale residential areas are even harder to get to. Given Harry and Meghan's run-ins with LA paparazzi in the past, living in Montecito, it just makes sense. While we don't know yet if Prince Harry and Meghan will move to a new mansion in the Hope Ranch neighborhood, for now, we've gotten a look at both their Montecito family property and the estate nearby where they filmed their recent Netflix doc. That being said, I think this brings today's house tour to an end. But before we go, answer this question. Where do you stand on the Prince Harry and Meghan situation in regards to stepping down from the royal family? What would you do if you had the opportunity to be royal? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments as well as what you liked or didn't like about those mansions. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!